So we've talked about different types of gardens here on Sonoran Living Live, and Andy has even grown one on the back patio here at the station. Whatever happened to oh, that? You let I that was, die, didn't you? I was hoping. <laughs> you know, I took a couple weeks off, and I th actually I, I thought that I had listed the help of, um, of Michael over here to take care of it, but I think he failed me. Okay. So you thought nobody would notice, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. But I'm ready to do another one. Okay. Well, so I've been telling her about um, building um, our own butterfly garden, and she was all for it. Mm -hmm. And so I went out to learn for the both of us. Great. When you see a butterfly, you cannot help but stop and take in that beauty. Well, what if you could have the beauty of butterflies in your own backyard? It's as easy as planting a butterfly garden. And we're about to learn how with the help of Adrian Grimaldi, who I affectionately refer to as the butterfly whisperer because you know so much about butterflies. Thanks for teaching us about You're these welcome. butterfly gardens. Do you see those two holes right there that somebody else dug? Adrienne Grimaldi has been doing it for years. Her passion for them spilling over to Boyce Thompson, where she volunteers for butterfly walks. But on this day, her students are pint-sized kindergartners from Ms. Anytime I can talk about butterflies is a good day for me. The pressing question is, how do you create something that will bring the butterflies? Plants that attract butterflies that are nectar plants, like lantana, marigold, and you also want to have a balance of uh, host plants that the butterfly will lay their eggs on. So um, passion vine, desert milkweed are great examples of what to plant in your butterfly garden that will attract certain butterflies. The key components include the host plants and the nectar plants. Add in a little protection from the wind with a hedge or a fence, and then don't forget a few rocks for them to soak in the sun. If you can think of butterflies as solar powered, that's what they love. They love the sun. And also you want to provide a little dish that has sand in it for mud puddling. Put some sand in a little water and the beautiful butterflies will pull the nutrients out of the sand. It doesn't have to be a big space. In fact, you can even attract them with your herb garden. My motto is if you build it, they will come. Um, here in Arizona, we have 332 different species of butterflies in Arizona. We're second next to Texas. Because we have so much sun, they love Arizona. Oh, yeah. They also come up from Mexico. Arizona weather is prime for butterflies with the first season in spring from February to March and the second season during monsoon from June to November. Because of Arizona being so unique in its weather, we can see butterflies almost all year round. For the kids at Bethany Learning Center, that's good news because the learning never stops, even for me, who learned a few new things from the kindergartners. What do you know about butterflies? I don't know. What do you know about butterflies? Uh, you must never punch them, and you must, and they're very, they're, you, and some have uh, owl eyes, so birds don't eat them. You need to be real careful with butterflies. If you smash one, they they might die. 